so and of course when it comes to java right it's of course one of the most popular right one of the because there's many other popular ones uh but uh java is also java is very beautiful language guys it's very beautiful language and uh in some sources you guys will find that yes it says easy to learn uh in some sources you guys will find that it's hard to learn right and uh what makes it java hard to learn uh it's a strongly typed language okay so uh it means uh, a java will follow a particular syntaxes uh for example in java you have to do a lot of typing in order to do some small particular task where for example in python you guys don't have to do it right uh in java it's mandatory that you guys will be using a semicolon at the end right and if without it java is not going to work that's why we say java is very strong type language but at the same time um it it can be easy it can be difficult right it can be easy it can be difficult uh but one thing is what i'm going to tell you right uh java some of you guys are writing in java is an object oriented it's another very big and very beautiful concept of java uh which we are going to learn guys after class number 10 right so uh it is it is more difficult yes it, it is more difficult compared to the python right uh but one thing as i can tell you if you learn java and if you understand it very well to learn python will be a piece of cake for you to learn javascript it will be a piece of cake for you to learn a uh, c sharp it will be a piece of cake for you okay so uh why is that because um all those languages that we just mentioned um uh, they are also uh, languages that are uh, object-oriented languages and once you understand guys the concept of uh, this main important concept of java which once again you guys will start learning on the class number 11 then any other uh, similar object-oriented languages will be very easy to learn but not to scare you guys right not, not to scare you about this that we're not going to learn now in the next 10 classes guys what we're going to learn we're going to learn a basics okay we're going to learn a basics about how do we send instruction and that to send in instructions you have to follow the steps how the code is executed then we will start throwing some condition then we will start throwing some repetition into our code and all these basics guys they are exactly the same in every other language right the moment you understand the logic right the moment you understand the logic you will be able easily to code in any other language the only thing what you guys would have to do you guys would have to learn a syntax of it but the logic will be already built and that's why we say it makes it very very easy after java right if you learn java python is easy but for example if you learn python first after that to learn java it won't be that easy right so that's why I like let's learn a harder one and then if life takes you somewhere later that where you guys would have to learn any other programming language it will be way way easy okay way way easier okay so right so what we say java right java enables programmer to write a commands that are english based commands right because remember guys we don't speak zeros and ones right we will be uh using the java syntax right we will be using java and using java we will be sending english based commands and then there's a processes that will be happening that will be converting our commands to zeros and ones right which we'll talk in details about uh that processes also what you guys would notice right you guys notice it with uh, Sumer's classes. You guys will notice with uh, my classes. I'm not going to uh, dive into very difficult definitions today, right? Even though we can make a what is a program and I can find you a Wikipedia, very difficult definitions, right? We're not going to throw those definitions at you, right? We're going to start slowly because if I'm going to start doing that, you guys will run away, right? So that's why at first we'll start very simple. Then every single day we will start adding more and more and more terminology right so this way after that you guys will be able to speak it easily right so that's why guys some of you i know you guys used already uh some terms about object oriented you guys use the term about compiler we will talk about all of those right but for now just simple step by step okay so no no it's not similar to html remember guys uh yeah that's that's different language right that's different language okay uh so 
now when it comes to java you we say guys that the java is uh, case sensitive what do we mean by case sensitive guys uppercase lowercase right uppercase lowercase for example right if i write something sorry if i write system and if i write system right so this is uppercase this is a lowercase right when we say a java is a case sensitive right so now java might understand the word system right with the uppercase but the java would not understand the word system with the lowercase and that's why it would throw you some errors right because it's not understanding okay yep upper and the lowercase that would be matter right that's what we say about java okay so now when we talk about that java is uh an uh, platform independent right so this term you guys are going we're going to explain in details uh how and what makes java a platform independent but just a simple example right now guys uh me and you guys uh we will be using different operating systems right uh, i'm using mac and uh some of you guys are using windows right so but regardless of any operating system that we are guys using we will be able to create we will be able to run our code right for example a code that i will write i'll share it with you you guys will be able to run it on your system right and the same thing any applications that been developed using java right we can we can also run them on uh on a uh, different other operating system right so but that in details guys we will tell you we will speak about the processes what actually happens how the code being translated what's being converted what's not being converted we will talk about details okay yep for now just it runs on all the platforms right that's why we send you instructions you guys can use it mac you guys can use it windows you guys can use linux which i don't suggest but maybe sometimes maybe later in your life you guys will be able to use the linux you still can run the java without any any problem okay 